David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you two fairly new Arushi pens from Wancher. Over the last couple of years, Wancher has been one of the companies coming out with a number of new and unique designs. And the two pens that I have to show you today have a treatment that I feel is very interesting. The name of the pen is the Dream Pen Meraki. And the two models in, of the Meraki that I have to show you are the Suki and the Tayo. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of these two new unique pens. I'll discuss a bit about the special Arushi technique used on these pens. Um, I'll also talk about what I care for and don't care for about them, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Wancher for providing these two pens for review. The pen arrives in this nice softwood box. Uh, this is Wancher's standard box with an image of Mount Fuji here. Um, inside we have a few things. Uh, we have some instruction manuals and uh, warranty information. Uh, rather than printing everything, they actually provide some uh, QR codes here. Um, it's really easy to just scan this on your phone and then be taken to the directly uh, to the appropriate information on the Wancher site. Um, it's smart for them as well because uh, if they ever need to update or add to their materials, they could just do it online and aren't stunk with a bunch of outdated paper. Then there are a couple of cartridges in this cute little package. There is a piece of kind of parchment paper that's rolled up, which is kind of fun to unroll, and it is some information about the technique used to create this pen. And then we have a couple of pens. Um, inside these sleeves. Um, I just put both pens in the same box. Um, these are two of the four versions are, are available of the Meraki, which in Japanese means doing something with all of your soul, creativity, and love. Um, we have the red, which is called the Suki, which means moon, and then we have the Tayo, which means sun, in a teal blue. Um, there are red and blue versions of each of these models, the difference being the location of the striping. On the Suki, it is more in the middle, and on the Tayo, it is separated to the ends. Um, for now, let's just take a look at the Suki. I think that the red will show up a little bit better on camera, uh, but as I'm talking, I'll also be showing some pictures of the Tayo. The pens are based off of Wancher's Dream Pen body, which has been out for a few years now, but the distinguishing feature of the Meraki models is the technique used to create this unique striping. Uh, the technique used to create this patterning is called togadashi. Um, the technique was created during Japan's Heian period, which was from about the years 800 until 1200. Um, it was during this time that most of the foundations of Jap Japanese culture were formed and recorded by its aristocracy. Um, this was the area before the Tokugawa period, which was well known due to things like ninjas and samurais. But it was during the Heian period where a number of the major achievements were artistic, like the book, which is recognized as Japan's first great novel, The Tale of Genji, by Lady Murasaki Shikibu, which was really documented the Heian aristocracy. Uh, you might be familiar with the name Murasaki Shikibu, or Shikibu, excuse me, because a pilot has an ink in their Shizuku line, which they've named after her. And it's one of my favorite purple inks. In regard to the technique used to create the striping on this pen, first, a natural Arushi base is applied to an ebonite body. After that, there are multiple coats applied of colored arushi. This colored arushi is applied unevenly, uh, meaning it's not distributed equally across the material. It's kind of applied in stripes, which after multiple layers and multiple drying periods will cause this area to be raised slightly. Then finally, Roiro arushi, which is black, is applied to fill in the gaps and completely cover the raised colored portions. Um, after a long drying period, the surface is then burnished with charcoal until the colored stripes are revealed. Uh, you could tell here in the teal model where there were multiple colors used, which really gives the pen an added layer of depth. Then multiple layers of Suki Arushi are applied, which are transparent. And then finally the pen is polished until it is shiny and glossy uh, and looks very nice. Um, the pen is a classic cigar shape. 
The end of the cap is smooth and rounded. Uh, the cap is clipless. It angles up uh, and it's only straight for the last half inch or so. There is a rounded, medium-sized step down to the barrel, which tapers down, and like the cap, the end is smooth and rounded. The cap twists off with a single rotation. Um, the Dream Pen models have a spring-loaded inner cap. Um, the spring helps keep the inner cap in contact with the section, creating a seal that helps the nib from drying out when capped. Um, the spring on this model is rather prominent. When capping the pen, the spring will have a cap uh, we'll have the cap about a quarter of an inch away from the thread. So you'll need to kind of press down a bit in order to make the connection between the threads. It's not troublesome or problematic. It's just something that you need to be a little bit conscious of when you're capping the pen. Once you remove the cap, you are presented with this number six stainless steel Yovo nib. Uh, in regard to nib options, the stainless steel is available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, uh, in silver, gold, and two-tone varieties. Uh, Wancher also has an 18 karat gold nib that they create in-house, uh, and this is what that nib looks like. I've found their gold nibs to perform very well, and are really worth the additional cost. Uh, the gold nibs are available in fine, medium, and broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, there's also upgrade options for an ebonite feed as well as a red ebonite feed. The section begins with a very slight flare and then angles up a hair until you reach the metal threads and an angled stair step up to the barrel. The section isn't exceptionally long, but if your grip should happen to rest on the threads or the transition to the barrel, I don't find it to be uncomfortable. For me, the pen is plenty long enough to use unposted, which is a good thing because the cap is not designed to post. Typically, you don't want to be posting Arushi pens anyways. This is a cartridge converter. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Um, with the metal parts in the section here, eye dropping this pen would not be recommended. The Wancher Meriki is available only on the Wancher site. I'll put a link to the site in the notes below. Um, in regard to pricing, um, these are rather expensive pens. The techniques used to create this pen are rather labor intensive, and that's reflected in the price. Uh, the gold nib versions of these pens are $830. Uh, if the stainless steel Yovo nib works for you, and they do perform very nicely, uh, then the price comes down to $700. I did notice as well that shipping was free on these pens, which is nice, especially coming from Asia. I've said this many times, but when you are purchasing a pen in this elevated price range, you're paying for something other than performance. Uh, you are purchasing a unique pen which was painstakingly crafted by an artisan who is a master at their craft. Uh, these are not pens cranked out in an assembly line. I feel the striping and the patterning is unique, and I can appreciate the intricate technique used to create this functional piece of art. Um, personally, between the two, um, I care for the patterning on the Suki with its beginning uh, being in the middle here as opposed to the ends, uh, and I'm drawn to the teal in the Tayo with the hint of green accent, but both patterns and colors look beautiful in my opinion, and they're well worth checking out. So, now it is time for some measurements size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Wancher Meriki. This one is the Suki, and then this one here is the Tayo, the red. In regard to a few other Wancher Urushi pens, uh, this one here is the Sugaro Urushi, which is another one of my recent favorites. Um, and then this is the Kiei Arushi that has the plants in it, the leaves, which is just amazing. And then this is a standard Dream Pen model in red Arushi. In regard to some non Wancher pens, uh, here it is with a Nakia dorsal fin 2 and another Nakia which is the decapod twist and then finally a very large pen that barely fits in frame which is the Danny Trio Genkai. In regard to uncapped comparisons 
Um, this is what it looks like with the Cigaru Arushi. And this is the Decapod Twist. And then finally, here is the Danny Trio. So here we go with the writing sample for the Wancher. Meriki. Uh, and this one here is the Suki, which is the T-S-U-K-I. Uh, and I decided to use this one because this one has the uh, Wancher in-house 18 karat gold nib. And I wanted to show that to you guys. It is a broad and it's 18K. I find it to be very soft uh, and fairly bouncy. Uh, and the ink, appropriately enough, that I'm using is Pilot of Roshizuku. And that's Murasaki Shikibu. Which is the ink that I discussed during the review. Uh, it's one of my favorite purples. This is what the ink looks like. Um, it's fairly well saturated. Not quite as saturated as something like the Cross Violet. Um, but it's a little bit darker than something like the Mont Blanc, uh, the Mont Blanc Beetle's Psychedelic Purple. Um, the I know you've seen them before, but the uh, Pilot of Roshizuku comes in fantastic bottles. This is probably one of my favorite ink bottles with a little teardrop in there. And I like the fact that it's a little bit narrow and it's really easy to get all of the ink out of here. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, as I mentioned before, I think Wancher did a very good job or does a very good job with their in-house nibs, um, that it's fairly smooth with just a hint of feedback. You can get a little bit of line variation out of there if you push it. Um, in regard to ink flow on this broad nib, it's decent. In regard to some reverse writing, it is a little sharp, but it gets the job done. And then in regard to some fast writing, the feed has no problem in keeping up. So here we have the Wancher Meriki. Uh, this is the Suki, the one in the blue here with the stripes on the end, as well as the Tayo here in red where the stripes are in the middle. And like I said, uh, there's two versions of each of these. So if you like the stripes on the end in red or the blue in the middle, that there's those versions available as well. Um, I think that I really like the technique used in here and it's really something different uh, and it's a different look to Arushi that I hadn't seen before and it's something I very much enjoy. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.